The stock market is selling off growth stocks, but when the market is fearful, we as investors need to be greedy, and I think there are four great growth stocks to buy right now with a lot of long-term potential so I want to get into why I like these four stocks. But before we do, I want to thank this video sponsor, The Motley Fool. Visit fool.com slash ride for their top 10 stock picks to buy right now. They have outperformed the market long term, so check these stock picks out. Fool.com slash R-I-I-V. It really helps out the show. And of course, follow Rive Investing for more stock ideas and great investing insights. Now on to the stocks that I like today. Yeti is the first one. This is a stock that I've been watching for a really long time. I like their products. I like the way that they're growing their product line and their distribution. But it's always been a very expensive stock. That has changed as the stock has fallen 60 to 70% from their highs in 2020. So if you look at this chart right here, you can see this is a very profitable company. That's this blue line here, $190 million in net income over the last year. And revenue has nearly tripled over the last five years. So Yeti is definitely heading in the right direction. Now, they may be facing a little bit of headwinds as we go potentially into a recession in late 2022 and into 2023. But long term, this is the kind of buying chance that investors get for a company like this. A stock is trading for under a 20 price to earnings multiple. And given that growth rate, I think that is a very reasonable valuation to pay for this stock. I never think it's a bad idea to own a company with a great brand, high quality products that lead the market and are growing over time. The second stock is Asana. This is one that, again, I really like the product. The question here is the company's financials. You can see here that the company has grown tremendously, tripling revenue since early 2020. So that's an incredibly fast growth rate. They're adding customers like crazy. The problem is that they're burning through cash. So the thesis here with a SaaS company like Asana is that they're able to spend money up front to acquire customers and then those customers are going to be with them for a very very long period of time so there's going to be a high value over over a long period of time you're willing to eat those losses short term for the profits that will have long term the problem is the company continues to burn more and more money each quarter now i like their products if you haven't used asana very simple to use Pro productivity tools for teams started with things like to do lists that you can share with other people, but they have all kinds of tools that they have added to that over time. And that suite of tools continues to expand. What is really interesting for them is they're starting with small businesses. They're not going to big, big businesses and competing with the Microsofts and the sales forces of the world. They start with small businesses and then move up the ladder. And so that could be a really successful strategy for them the problem is you got to turn these these losses around. The advantage that they have is Dustin Moskovitz is the founder of the company. He is a billionaire because he was one of the founders of Facebook. So he has put tons of money into this company recently, did a funding round with them. But they need to turn this bottom line around over time. If you are interested in taking a high-risk, high-reward investment in growth stocks, this is one that I think you should definitely put on your radar. But understand that there are risks there as well. Spotify is a stock that I really like that I think the market is just misunderstanding right now. Spotify's core business has always been music. That There's limited profitability in the music business because they do have to negotiate financial terms with both artists and the major record labels who own the content. But the advantage for them is they're getting into the podcast business. Now, this has been a very expensive business for them to get into, signing exclusive deals with people like Joe Rogan. But over time, the idea here is that podcasts become more like YouTube where people just upload their content and Spotify handles both distribution and discovery and also monetization through advertising. We have, start, we have started to see that really take hold at Spotify. The advertising business is growing really nicely in excess of 20% per quarter. So if that continues, that becomes a really big business really quickly. But investors are just getting impatient with how long this is taking. I think if you take a five to 10 year horizon for a company like Spotify, this is gonna be a great growth opportunity. We're paying the price up front to build out this podcast business, but over time, as you attract more content producers, you attract more people listening, and this is a virtuous cycle. Spotify is the one that's gonna profit in the middle. I think it's a really posi good position to be in a growth stock that I really like. The final company is another one that the market has really sold off of late, and that is Adobe. Adobe makes a lot of productivity tools for designers. What the market didn't like this year was their announced acquisition of Figma. Figma is a design tool that not only art designers use, but also programmers use for designing things like apps and web pages. So you kind of get a bigger market than just the art market. 
but they paid a really high price for Figma. It's definitely a growth acquisition, so it's gonna help grow the top line, but investors just don't know when the payoff on the bottom line will be. That's why the stock has sold off. But look, investors are getting this stock for about a 30 price to earnings multiple right now. Very hot, profitable company at $4.8 billion in net income. I think this is the kind of suite of tools in both Adobe's legacy products and also what they added with Figma that's gonna be very valuable long-term. I don't see the design of web pages and applications for smartphones and other devices going away anytime soon. In fact, it's probably gonna be more and more important and the multi-user features in Figma is something that the company can grow into. I'm not worried about the price that they paid for Figma and actually investors who are buying the stock now get that discounted into the price that they're paying for the stock. So this is a growth company, despite the fact that it's a very old company. And now you get some of the excitement of growing through Figma as well. What do you think about these four stocks? Yeti, Asana, Spotify, and Adobe. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Please follow and subscribe to Rive Investing. I will be back with more investing insights and ideas for you. And I will see you here next time.